Hello, how you guys doing? This is Neil, the art instructor for MasterPaintNow.com. That's MasterPaintingNow.com. The link's in the description of this video. And also I link to it uh, at some point in the video as well, just like right there on the actual video. And it'll say something like, watch more free art lessons and stuff. And also, um, this is a sped up version of the real-time video. You can watch the real-time video. It's about an hour long. It's a great art lesson. It teaches all kinds of stuff. That's really important to know uh, when drawing anything, whether it be Batman or Superman or just figures in general. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just laying out the basic construct and the pose. And I'm going to briefly explain to you in this video what it takes to draw Batman or any other figure. This is different from a lot of the other, a lot of the other um, drawing tutorials out there where it's like, hey, this is how you draw Batman. And they just draw Batman in one particular pose and then that's it. You don't learn nothing. Like, okay, now I can draw Batman in that one pose, that particular Batman, that one pose. I teach you the fundamental stuff that you need to know um, in order to draw Batman from any position, any, any pose. And what that takes is a foundation, the knowledge of drawing the human figure. So you got to get some human figure drawing books or something. I'm actually working on a human figure drawing book right now for those that didn't know. And it's going to be really cool, and I'll show a preview of it here on YouTube once it's finished. And I'll show several pages of it. It's going to be on Amazon Kindle. It's also going to be a, a download as a PDF for those that like might want a bigger version of it and, and print it out or whatever. Anyway, so once you once you have figured out the pose you want, and this is how you know I'm not just like looking at something and drawing it. It's like I go through several you know corrections and stuff and, and figure out how I want them to be. I'm like, do I want his legs together? Do I want his legs farther apart, shorter apart? You know, how much do I want to turn his upper body? All that's important. Once you have the basic construction down, it's all a matter of just plugging in the likeness of Batman. So you just go online. You know, I could easily turn the same pose into Superman. You know, their bodies are so similar. You know, I might want to change. Actually, the way I drew Batman here is almost almost identical to Superman. So as far as the body construction, I don't have to really change anything. I can literally just plug in Superman's suit and Superman's face, and bam, I got Superman. It's just that easy. So once you know how to draw the, the human figure, and you really have to learn how to do that from imagination, because what happens if um, you're like, okay, I want to draw Batman, and I have this idea of I want to draw Batman like, like you know, on his grappling hook, and he's like ascending up, and he's kind of from a side view, but a front view, and how do I do that? And so you have to go look up references, you know, and you can't find none that matches your, your vision. Imagine you want to make a short comic book, and as you're doing that, you have several scenes and you have all these different poses and you have people fighting each other. You're like, how in the hell do I draw two people fighting each other? So you, you start Googling it, you start YouTubing it, and but nothing fits what you want. That is, you can't find that pose that fits exactly what you have in your mind. So the only way you're gonna be able to do that to, to be a comic artist and, 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 a, and a, even a concept artist and stuff really, is to be able to draw those poses from imagination. Now, there are sometimes uh, poses that are, are difficult to figure out. And what you can do is go to Daz Studio, take the, the program and put it in a very similar pro pose that you want your characters to be in and then you can base it off of that. I don't recommend just like straight drawing it the way you see in, in Daz Studio because a lot of it is incorrect. Uh, even though the anatomy is correct, once you start stretching it around stuff, the muscles aren't quite to that point yet where they stretch realistically and give you accurate results all the time. So um, you have to know anatomy to know when, when poser or when Daz Studio is giving you the incorrect thing. And by the way, Daz Studio is free unlike poser. And it's, it's a really powerful program. But anyway, so that's one way you can do that uh, when you get stuck on a certain pose. But you basically want to get to the point where you can really draw most of your poses from Im imagination and make them look good. And as you can see, all I'm doing after I had done the hard work, the hardest part to do of drawing Batman or Superman or Wonder Woman or anything is the foundations. Because if you don't have the foundations down, you're going to be struggling really badly. So I don't care who you learn it from, but learn it. You know, get books for free online. Uh, get Andrew Loomis's books; they're free online. Uh, they're also really inexpensive on on like Amazon and on, on eBay. You know, just find stuff. Get, you know, get Glenn Vilpu stuff if you want, and uh, it's really expensive uh, his video courses. But you know, he's a good teacher. He's one of the few teachers I actually recommend to people because I can't recommend a lot of teachers out there because they're not very good. They're great artists, but not the best teachers. And uh, also, I have an anatomy course. It's 60 hours long, so you know it's full and in depth, and it's like it's like taking a college course. And in fact, I'm I'm actually thinking about working on getting it approved by by some colleges for actual credits that you can actually take it and get credits toward your um, art degree. And so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully I can I can pull that off. I just it's just hard without knowing anyone in the industry, you know, to be able to do that particular, well, you know, within the universities, but nonetheless. So that's all, that's the basic formula of drawing any figure. 
drawing Batman, Superman, you draw the basic construction, which is, hey, what does my character look like? Is he eight heads tall, six heads tall? You know, if it's Wolverine, he's a shorter character, right? Wolverine might be around six heads tall, maybe even five and a half. He's a really short character. And so once you design Wolverine's basic body construction, which, which you need to have the fundamentals of drawing figures first, then you add on his suit to that. So you just study Wolverine. What does Wolverine look like? You, you know, Wolverine has different costumes throughout time and you know, different artists draw him differently, same as Batman. So you got to choose one or mix and match him, however you want to do it. And then you take that suit and you just add that onto your construction. That's all I'm doing here is I'm going, okay, I also, I'm also adding a lot of anatomy. And that's why you know, when drawing superheroes, especially like Marvel and DC type comic book stuff, a lot of the superheroes are basically skin tight suits and basically they're just like painted on suits or literally just painting the, 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 the skin, you know? So in other words, they're just drawing the body as if it has hardly no fat on it at all. And so when like the gray part of Batman's suit is basically naked man, but painted gray, you know, it's like same thing with a lot of the women, you know, they're just painted on costumes. Or literally their skin's just painted. I'm going to show here really quickly, what if you wanted to draw in you know, like Batman Beyond, for example? Well, the process is exactly the same as what I'm showing here. Now, of course, this is, like I said, sped up and I'm not really talking a whole lot about what I'm doing on camera because uh, really it's about, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help you understand what it takes to, to really draw Batman or any character from your imagination. And, you know, I can easily just teach you this is how you draw this Batman in this particular pose, but that's not really going to teach you nothing. That's all it's going to teach you. And that's, that's a really quick snippet of my book there I'm working on. In the real-time video, uh, you can actually see it, more of that. But I really recommend watching a real-time video of this because I go into a lot more details of exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and things like that. Um, but here's a quick construct of Batman Beyond. That's all you have to do is draw that, and then you just draw his suit on top of that, and boom, you got Batman Beyond. You can do that for any character. Honestly, it's really that simple. I'm a, in a little bit here, I'm about to show snippets of my of my comic book, End of All. If you haven't got a chance to ever read it, um, it's back online again. So just go to my website, matchpainnow.com, and you'll see End of All there and the links at the top. And click on End of All, and you can start reading uh, of End of All. It's a really cool um, graphic novel. It's like 66 pages long so far. Uh, they're not all online yet. I'm, I'm, like, I'm having to automatically put them online for me while I'm working on newer pages. And also stay tuned for, for upcoming uh, videos on that of, of how to draw comics because I'll be showing step-by-step -step how, I, how I work on my comic. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Subscribe for more free tutorials.